What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account. In this video, I'm going to be going over my full arena squad. Also doing some breakthrough levels on some heroes. I did make a purchase today and it was the Crystal Coffer Pack, which actually came with some decent stuff and it has some rewards to open up as well. Again, I have a ton of Castle Chest 4s and I can't even use them obviously because I'm still full on books. So the breakthrough levels will help me out a little bit on that. Now, one thing I have to open up look at this we got 52 prime insignia pack eights which is just ridiculous let's go ahead and open these up the really the thing only really thing i care about is honestly the only thing i need on my main account is some more revitalized eights so i would take some revitalized eights i'm sure 52 we gotta at least get one right no way we're really not gonna see any revitalized come on man 52 of these and i can't even see one of the one that i need that is insane. So now we just have a ton of all those insignias, which is just crazy. We got, what do we got? Seven of these prime up bags. Let's go ahead and open these up. We had like, okay, 30 Lazu Soul Stones. We'll take that. Prime bag threes, level nine talent runes. Yes, we'll take the one. Thank you very much. And we got 15 Levanica bag twos. I'm going to open up five solo and then 10 at once. Wow. All right. So we got an 80 piece to start, followed by 10. I've never seen a hundred, so give me a hundred. What do we got? We got two more. We got twenty and fifteen. All right, so ten at a time. Come on, give me above two hundred. Above two hundred. One fifty. So we got a full Levanic out of that. Like I said, I have hundred and eight of those chests, but I can't even open those up. Now I do have a little bit of materials to do my breakthrough levels. Let me go ahead and show you guys my arena team first. That so way you guys know. I also ran the trade. I'd use the traits to, in order to buy the crystal coppers, you actually have to spin the gems as well, then buy them. And so what I did was I just re-rolled traits. So we got Walla with Flame Guard. We got Dove with Iron Will. We got Serena with Sacred Light, Lavanica with Unholy Pact, and Boogeyman along with Ashura with that Vital Boon. Now let's go in here and check these heroes out. So let's see here. Where is any of them? We got Walla right here chilling with the level 9 Flame Guard. I also obviously got the 8 Revitalize on Walla. And look at the stats, man. 28,000 damage along with a ton of life. What is that? 540,000 life. So I'm probably going to level up the Breakthrough on Walla. But I did want to show you guys the rest of the heroes as well. We got the Dove Keeper with Iron Will. Also has the backup on Holy Pack if we want to switch to that. And this Dove Keeper is Breakthrough level 8. So, not too bad. We have Serena at Breakthrough Level 7. So, 7-5 seven, Serena. Not too bad with Serena either. We obviously got, I believe I have Level 5 or Level 8 Revitalized on Serena. Also, we got Lavanica with the Level 9 Unholy Pact and also their Survival. Lavanica is at 11-3. So, all these heroes are coming on pretty strong with the Breakthrough Levels are... Ashura has the level 8 survival insignia with a level 9 vital boon. And we also got, what do we got? We got 10-1 on Ashura. And Boogeyman, we got the level 9 on Holy Pack with the level 8 revitalized along with a punching box. And he is breakthrough level 13-2. So all these heroes are coming on super strong. Like I said, I'm going to see how far I can go on my Walla Walla and then get into Arena. Currently right now I'm at 16-1. So it's 18 books per level, which is insane, along with 19 might. So not bad at all. This is going to allow me to open up some of those castle chests as well, which is very nice. I like to be able to actually open up the items in my warehouse. No doubt about that. 285 might. The might, the might gained is just absurd, man. It's like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. So we're about to have Walla at 18, baby. Let's go, Walla, Walla. That is sexy right there, boys. Oh, 18, 2, Walla, keep on coming. How many is it? It's 85 per level. It uses up so many breakthrough crystals when you crystals when you max out a hero. But man, it's just worth it, especially on Walla Walla. He is a beast. Can't wait to get this bad boy maxed out. So we got him at 19-2 already. I don't think we have enough of the red crystals, but that's okay. I'm opening up some castle chests and go ahead and snatch them up to finish them up. Let's see here. 
And do we got enough reds? Yes, actually, we got enough reds to get him right to 20. There we go. Maxed out level 20. Walla, baby. That is sexy right too. Now, what I am going to do as well, that reminds me, is not only do I obviously I want to flame guard Walla for Arena, because Sacred Light might honestly be overall better for Arena. So what I decided to do was, is on the breakthrough level 20 Walla, kind of give him, you know, my two favorite talents. We're going to go ahead and hook him up with the flame guard. We're also going to toss him to Sacred Light. And since it's no issue, we're just going to go ahead and level him up right to level 9. And now we got a 9 Sacred Light Walla that's maxed out on Breakthrough and a Flame Guard that's maxed out on, bre on Breakthrough, which is insane. So the overall stats for the Walla are now looking pretty. We got 31,000 damage with, oh baby, almost 500,000 plus life with 161,000. What is that total? Goodness gracious, that's like 600 and what, 600 and something, 620,000 life, 630,000 life, something like that. That's absolutely insane. Walla Walla is now coming on strong, boys. All right, so let's go ahead and get into Arena. Let's see what we got here. We are currently ranked, where am I ranked? 73rd, so it looks like we took a couple L's last night, which is okay. We got Lace Up MGK, my boy Kyle, my boy Artwork. Come on, get me across some of these guys. What the heck? I am Groot. All right, let's go ahead and fight I am Groot. This team is absolutely beast. I've seen this guy all through the lineups in Castle Clash throughout my entire career, to be honest. All right, so I like to put Walla with Lavanica. With Serena, I like to put Dove, and then I like to go with Ashira and Boogie on the same squad. Now, one thing you'll notice is this is an Oracle team as well. And that gives us that extra accuracy plus silence on some heroes. So this guy is actually running the... Lazu in the middle, which honestly is a pretty strong combo overall if it ends up working out. And his Dove Keeper did get up through our team. What do we have stunning up my Levanica down there? Is my Levanica like glitched out fighting nothing? Okay, now he just went through. But I don't think my Levanica is going to beat his Lazu plus Dove. No way. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and exit that. Take a first. First team takes an L. Whenever you see Lazu in the middle, it's really smart just to completely avoid the middle and not even to allow Lazu to proc, to be honest. So the way to beat a team like this is, like I said, avoid the middle. We'll send, what should we send up top? We could send our Dove or, Levan I guess we'll send Levanica. We'll send Levanica up top and just everything else down low. Just because we don't need to send anything against that Lazu in the middle, like I said. Let's go ahead and start this fight. Come on. There we go. Oh, he does have Levanic in the middle, too. I didn't even realize. Look at this. His Lazu actually died, so it didn't matter. We could have sent something in the middle. Surely his Levanica doesn't have what it takes to solo us, though. We did put the silence on his Levanica. We weren't able to kill it, but I don't think it's going to be putting out the DPS needed. We should be able to finish these heroes off. We actually, we got through with our Levanica as well, so that is very nice. Now it's just a matter of time. He actually killed all our heroes besides Dove and... Levanica doesn't hit a cross wave, does he? Because I feel like my Levanica is hitting him right now. Does his Levanica hit my two heroes from this far? Now I'm just confused. Why is my Levanica hitting him, but he's not hitting me? That's weird. I guess we just hit his Levanica, but his Levanica can't hit me. Surely we don't have him silence this whole time. He actually did quite a bit of damage to the Chris. Oh, there he goes. Levanica's finally hitting us. That's crazy. It's crazy that Levanica can has that much range. Got my boy Mutilator Joe. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Who else can we get? We got third rank 45. What rank was the Joe? All right, let's go against Dark here. Showing a boogeyman as well. Should we stay away from the middle? Maybe we should just stay away from the middle because it seems like a lot of people are using Lazu as defense in the middle. Let's just stay away and see. Yep, we got Lazu in the middle. The reason why they put Lazu in the middle as well is because when Lazu procs in the middle, it affects... Both heroes on, I mean, it affects all heroes, the top lane and the bottom lane as well. So that's why Lazu is so good in the middle, because obviously in defense, he can freeze up all heroes for like three seconds, right? Completely overpowered. And by the way, I wanted to let you guys know, after this video, I'm headed to Foxwoods with my cousin, and we're both bringing up, or both bringing $500 to the roulette wheel, so $1,000 total, and we're going to be betting it on number 17. And you better believe, if number 17 hits, you guys are getting a bunch of giveaways, because we're going to be winning a ton of money. So give me some pound 17s in the chat, please, or in the uh, comment section one time. All right, we got Wicked Cardi. I'm going to do the same thing until it fa fails. Just send all five teams just like this. Just because, probably Lazu in the middle, to be honest. No Lazu in the middle. He does have a Dove and a Walla down low. 
So he has Boogeyman and Ashura in the middle, which actually we just killed both of those, and we still have our Boogeyman alive, which is huge. That was very nice. We will take that all day long. We have every single hero alive one time. We take that. That's not bad, boys. Get out of here, Wicked Cardi. Cardi, Cardi. Cardi B. <laughs> all right, we got Battle. Let's go ahead and refresh that, see who we got next. We got Min. Yeah, let's go against this Min guy because I know for a fact this dude has an insanely strong team. He was one of the guys I got hung up on and couldn't beat last time. Let's go ahead and fight him. We'll send just like this and see what he's got. He's got Lazu in the middle, so this is actually a good little setup. Although he does have Dove up top with Levanica. Hopefully we're able to get through his Levanica here. If we can get through... Oh, we killed something, right? Oh, my Boogeyman. Stay alive, Boogeyman. Come on, stay alive, Boogeyman. Oh, Boogeyman just fell over. Our Levanica got through his Dove up top, so that's very big. Now, I don't know if my Dove down low can actually kill this Levanica. But we definitely have the damage that it takes to go ahead and kill his crystal. Wait, what, wait do I have two heroes alive or one? Man, the amount of damage I'm doing to the crystal. It seems like I have two heroes alive, but I don't see two health bars. Do I see two little circles down there? I guess not. No, yeah, so only Levanica's alive. Man, Levanica can do a lot of damage to crystals. That's crazy. Man, Levanica comes on strong, boys. Every proc, it's like 500,000. What? It's insane. All right, we got my boy Shinkuro. Or let's go. Oh, my boy Alice White. Yeah, I did not beat Alice. I know for a fact I got hung up on Alice, so I'm excited for this. Actually, I'm out of trap, so we got to bring one trap back, and we got to fight my boy Alice. All right, see what goes down here. We'll leave middle lane open first try, and then we'll resend and set up. So actually, he has middle lane open too. We both got Lavanica up top, and man, we got like a mirror match down low. So I need to be able to get through his down low teams right here. Come on, boys, step up. We got Boogeyman alive, which is pretty good. He does have his Dove alive. Actually, our Lavanica got through, and Dove, and Boogie. Let's go, baby. We got through my boy Alice, which we got stuck on last time, so that's a big bonus. We will take that. Very nice. Should we just keep on climbing, or should I call it the quits right now? I guess we should keep on climbing. Why wouldn't I, right? Climbing till we get stuck again. Stuck again. I just woke up. Oh, man. Just woke up. Oh, Dark Knight, my boy. We got Lore. I've never heard of Lore. Let's go ahead and fight Lore. See what we got coming down with Lore. Like I said, I'm going to keep the teams just like this, especially since we haven't lost. Just in case there is a Lazu in the middle, and there is a Lazu chilling right there in the middle again. So we need to be able to kill his Walla right here, which we have almost done. Walla's down. Levanica's down. Bottom row is going through. That's exactly what we needed. Very nice, man. We just have so much silence. My arena team, this squad is deadly, boys. We got silencing shot on a lot of heroes. We got malaise on a lot of heroes. And then we also got, I mean, we just got, we are stacked. This team is stacked. All right, I've never heard of this six spot rank. We're going to go ahead and fight this. He's got Boogeyman. I'm going to send teams just like as is, just in case Lazarus in the middle again. And he is in the middle. So our Levanica is not tanking anything, which is pretty bad in my opinion. We're probably going to lose this fight. I'm not a fan of this one bit. He's got Walla alive and at the crystal. Hopefully my boogeyman can one-shot his Walla right here with this proc. And no, he did not. Yeah, that sucks, man. Sending Levanica up top is never going to get just the W. All right, so let's see. How can we beat this team? What do we, What has he got? He has Levanica by himself down low and everything else in the middle with Lazu in the middle too. Hmm, what's the best way to beat this? I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna try sending everything up top and see how that works. And if that doesn't work, we'll do this. We'll do some split ups. This might work though. It's gonna be a pretty crazy close battle. I know that for a fact. Or should I should I block his Levanica down low? Maybe I'll block his Levanica down low. Actually, no. Both of our Levanicas can hit each other. I could send my Levanica and Dove down low. Actually, I'll just send everything up top. Whatever. We'll go with everything up top, but if not, I could send my Levanica and Dove down low just to proc and kill his heroes from a ways. We actually killed his Lazu once there. We're wanting to kill that Walla ASAP. Now, how much damage does Lazu do to the crystal? A lot? How's my, my crystal? Dang. All right, so that's not going to work. That's absolutely ridiculous how teams can beat my crystal that hard, that fast. All right, so let's go ahead and send Dove used up your battle chances let's send dove maybe we have to beat lazu to beat this comp i don't know or maybe we send mm, everything to the middle but then lazu proxy just owns us right 
Hmm. This is interesting, dude. This is an interesting team to beat here. I'm going to send Dove, Boogeyman, and... I'm going to send... Hmm. So I'm just going to send everything against his Levanica, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send everything against his Levanica, and then I'm thinking maybe we should be able to get some procs off and actually kill quite a few of his heroes, and our heroes should stay alive. I don't know. I don't have much experience with beating this comp. This is honestly my first time to run. Wow, he's actually dishing so much damage to my crystal. I might have to bring my Lazu out. My Lazu is completely maxed, so I'm not against that. Hmm. All right, let me try one more setup against this guy. Let's go with Lavanica. Let's go with Lavanica in the middle. Or look, maybe just everything in the middle. Everything in the middle and let his Lavanica bypass. Because I don't think his Lavanica should be able to kill us in time. But, or should I send Dove to stop his Lavanica? Yeah, let's send Dove down there to stop the Lavanica. I don't know how this team's going to go against uh, Lazu right here. We need to kill that Lazu off and not allow him to proc right at the start. And he did proc right at the start, so that is absolutely terrible. Hopefully we got... Ah, we couldn't get through anything. All right, we got to bring out Lazu. We got to bring out my freaking Lazu, boys. All right, let's get Lazu set up. I ain't going down like that. That dude's just running over us with Lazu there. I like his defensive setup with five heroes in the middle. That seems pretty tough to stop. All right, so we got... Should I go with a revive Lazu? I think I should go with the nine revive Lazu. We'll go with nine revive on the Lazu and maybe... I don't really think... Is Lazu going to need energy in this setup? Should I go with Revitalize, or should I just go with an 8 Empower? Probably just an 8 Empower. I mean, he's not going to need that much energy, right? He isn't going to... He should be okay. Yeah, so we'll go with 8 Empower. Let's get in here. Form team. Just go with the offensive team. Man, I really like his offensive squad right there with Lazu. That was coming out strong, man. All right, so we got the Revive Lazu, and let's go ahead and bring out the attack. I'm just going to mirror his full attack right here. So we'll bring in Lazu in the middle. Lavanica down low. Alright, we gotta get that first Lazu proc off now though. It's gonna be pretty oh wait a minute, that's the wrong team. So we got Lazu in the middle. Who do we not use? Boogeyman in the middle. Sure, I guess we don't use Serena. Yeah, we leave Serena out. Alright, let's go with this setup right here. This is gonna be a crazy fight, man. Whoever gets the first Oh my Lazu's dead and didn't revive. And his Lazu got the first proc? Son of a Alright, you know what I gotta do? I gotta send my Lazu down low. We gotta send Lazu down low. Actually, I'm sending everything down low. Because I think we can freeze up his whole team, right? Yeah. We gotta go down low here. Let's go with Ashura. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring out Serena instead of Ashura. See if we can't, just in case we need those revives. So surely my Lazu's gonna come back up and get a proc off. No way Lazu's gonna die twice here and without a proc. Really? Lazu's no procs? I don't get any proc. I get one proc from Lazu at the very end before, while his teams are way over here. Dude, can I not beat this guy? Maybe I just can't beat his setup here. We killed his Lazu from a distance. Man, what do I need to do? Let me watch this ass whooping again that we're getting. All right, so he's got Lazu in the middle. He's got Boogeyman, Ashura. So he's just not running with Serena, which is fine. But we can't we can't get around his Lazu. His Lazu's procking, and we're not able to kill him. What's he running on his Lazu? Does he have Revitalize? He does. He has eight Revite on his Lazu. Which is fine, because we got Empower, so our Lazu's procced up too. We just literally can't get the proc off on Lazu. Alright, I'm gonna run with uh I'm gonna run with Revitalize on Lazu, even though I don't really think that's really making much of a difference. But I gotta gotta try it. It sucks that we can't uh level seven revite's good enough. It sucks that we can't get the proc off when I send the same team against his Lazu. Hmm. Why can we not get that proc off? You know what? I'm going to not send my Dove. That's what I'll do. I'm going to send Lazu like this. Lavanica down here. And send my Dove. Should I send Dove up top? I feel like my Doves are allowing his Lazu to proc on me. So yeah, I'm going to send I'm gonna send my Dove down low. Down low with the Lavanica. And then we'll send everything else here. Come on, Lazu. Don't let me down. Oh, man. I didn't use Walla Walla. Ah. Oh. Dang it. I didn't mean to send this setup like this. No Walla Walla. This is just going to be a loss. I set up the wrong freaking team. Oh my god. Everything just got one shot. Both of our Lazus proc though. That was pretty cool. Can we get a revive from Serena and revive everything? Or is Serena dead? 
Yeah, Serena's dead. We got another Lazu proc with that revive. This is a crazy little fight, actually. If we'd have Walla Walla in there, it'd have been so much different. That sucks. So, our Lazu's completely dead. His Lazu, dude, his Lazu has some insane survivability somehow. I don't quite get that. All right, let me see. Do I have any more chances? All right, one more chance. All right, we got one more chance against this guy. All right, we're going to send Lazu in the middle, obviously. We got to send Lavanica down low. We'll go ahead and send, I mean, we're sending everything. I got to mirror match this dude's team. All right, so Dove in the middle, Ashura in the middle, Boogeyman in the middle. All right, come on, man. Lazu, give me your first proc, buddy. Kill some of his heroes. Don't all you guys fall over. So his wall is alive. My wall is dead. Man, what is going on? Maybe, oh, maybe it's the Sacred Light Walla, actually. And that's what's giving it the, that's what's owning me up, is his Sacred Light Walla, my Flame Guard Walla, because Flame Guard's just useless in this situation. I bet, his, I bet his Sacred Light Walla is surviving a little bit longer. That's got to be what it is. That's got to be what it is. His, his wall is just getting that extra proc in there. Because, man, his team is just absolutely dominating, man. It's making my team look like a bunch of weak little pansies. Straight up. Pretty sad, dude. We're getting smashed, my boy. Nice team, Minji. Never even heard of this guy. It's like these new players just come out of nowhere and smash heads. It's crazy, but I like the competition, no doubt about it. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the arena video. Don't worry. I'm coming back for this Minji son of a bitch. We're going to get his ass, no doubt about it. But I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.